John, obviously not a first half performance you guys are going to want to remember uh, moving forward into the season, but you guys came out in the second half strong and put this team away. Uh, just kind of walk us through this game and uh, what your guys' biggest motivation was coming out in the second half. Um, the biggest motivation coming out of the second half, I say uh, we knew this team wasn't supposed to be that close to us in the first place. We came out too, too lazy and just, I mean, we got to come to the game prepared. We took this game lightly. And that's what happened. That's the lesson learned when you come in the game thinking, oh, this is going to be an easy win. People come out to play, they hit shots. And we just got to do a better thing uh, preparing for the game. Yeah, John, amazing. You guys are both watching uh, from the bench as Bethesda kept it pretty close there. Were you kind of itching to get in and help the team out? Did you think the guys had it? What were you thinking as you were watching? I wanted to, like, see what uh, the guys that don't get in a lot, what, what kind of what they were made of. Um, uh, sadly, it didn't go our way. Um, so, I mean, once they called my name, I was ready to go, and I, I wanted to help because you know, it was getting pretty ugly fast. So. What was going on in that, that first half that allowed them to stay in the game? Defense. Defense. We, we got to win the one-on-one battles. I mean, we let dude come in and have 34. He had 21 in the first <laughs> half on, what, six threes? It, it just can't happen. We got to get better on defense and win those one-on-one battles. This is nothing they did. It was, we weren't playing our game, so. Yeah, it was, it was all of us. Like, we promised y'all, Monday, when we we'll play them again, it's going to be a different game. We just got to come. We're going to come out prepared. We're going to get in the gym, work hard, and we're going to we got to push the league out. Absolutely. Um, they had zero second chance points in that game. You guys were able to kind of dominate the boards. Um, can you talk about playing against an opponent that just physically maybe not able to stand up against you, but uh, – maybe the lessons you learn as you are taking on a team like that? Well, I think the biggest thing is um, you learn more about us. Like, you learn more about us, like, the guys who can step up, the guys who are ready. Um, I think, like, just building off of that and, and doing better in practice and going out there, like, we can, we can get a lot better. Yeah. Um, put me in the room for the half of the <coughs> talk with Coach Simon. I imagine he was not very happy with you guys. I mean, we, we knew. Like, when, when the, the buzzer rang and it was halftime, we looked at the score. Me and Mays looked at each other. We, we just knew he was calling the dogs out. We had to come back out and play. So we got in the locker room. We, we always have our team meeting before coach come in. So everybody, we just told him, just take whatever he say, put it in the back of your mind, and let's go push the lead out and show these fans what we can do. Because it was just embarrassing the first half. We gotta, when, the, when we play teams like that, no disrespect, but we have to work on us. So we got to do everything right to get us ready for our league play. Because in the end, we all are working to get a Big Sky Championship and get to the NCAA tournament. Guys, another game where you had very minimal turnovers. Uh, last, uh, last night you had 12, tonight you only had 14. Uh, how are you able to keep the ball so secure on the offensive end? I think Coach has been hard on us in practice. I mean, we have a huge, that was probably one of our biggest problems last year. So he's been focusing on that um, since the beginning of the season. And I think we've just been gradually getting better at it. And I think also getting like our uh, chemistry as a team, helping like know who's going to be where and, um, and all that so that we know where to pass the ball, when to, and, and we're, we're there. So we're just focusing on that in practice is the biggest thing. D, how's it feel to be back? Oh, that feels good. Um, you know, I just got eligible today. Um, and Coach just, you know, he told me he's going to ease me into it. And now I've been working with these guys and they've been helping me get better, get back. Uh, it, it just felt good getting back out there. I mean, you come in, you drain your first three, you make your first couple layups. I mean, did, how did that feel? I mean, it had to have just been awesome. Yeah, it felt, it felt great. Uh, I was tired, though. <laughs> I think the elevation is, is definitely kicking me. But, uh, yeah, it felt good getting back out there. And, you know, I'm glad I'm with the coach who, who trusts me and believes in me and the team who believes in my ability. So it just felt good. Yeah, uh, you almost caught a body there. Speaking of <laughs> um, yeah, um, you know, you're going to see a lot of that this season for me. Uh, you know, J.K. Don't check me. Don't check me. He, he, don't check so, me. So, you know, we, we have we have contests. So, you know, yeah. I feel like I feel like I got cheated in the dunk contest. So, <laughs> we, we are, listen, we already so, had a debate. The fans <laughs> voted. So, I'm <laughs> going to try to get dunk champion of, of, the, of the season. 3 people. <laughs> 3 people. Next year, man. All right, thank you, guys. Uh, if you want to start with an opening statement, and then we'll let the guys go from there. 
Yeah, uh, you know, good game for us to, to get a lot of guys in. We, we uh, you know, got a lot of different combinations deep in the bench, you know, get some uh, mileage on some guys and, and get them playing under the lights a little bit. Um, you know, a lot of guys in the scorebook and and I think we had nine guys with multiple field goals and, you know, so we achieved some, some object objectives that we wanted and obviously uh, a game like this and a team like this uh, that uh, spreads you out, plays small, that it puts you on an island and you have to play defense one-on-one, uh, -on -one, which is something we always need to keep continue to work on. Coach, uh, Spurs came out and started the game. Uh, Cortese got a couple of minutes, and then we didn't really see them the rest of the game. Can you explain why you didn't see them the rest of the game? Or Yeah, they're just so small. I mean, they were basically five guards up there, and, you know, for big Cortese and, and Spurs, you know, with, you know, 6'10 plus, it's just hard to, to, to sit out there and guard like, uh, you know, a six-two guy, you know, and that—that so that was just more of a matchup thing, more than anything. Is that why one of the reasons why uh, Yvonne didn't come? Yeah, in and, and we kind of went in the game, uh, you know, knowing with how much uh, playing time Yvonne has been playing, we wanted to um, go a little smaller, give him a, a kind of a rest day, if, if you will. Yeah, coach. Um, obviously, they kept it close there in the first half. You, you ended up getting a, a pretty sizable victory. I just wonder um, how you move away from this game. Are you? Happy with your team's effort, or you yeah, we, we we weren't we weren't good enough, uh, you know, in that first half. We don't we know that we had turned it over twelve times, which led to a lot of points, and you know we gave up six threes in that first half, which you know we, we've got to be we're better than that, and and uh, but we had to come up, we you know, it was definitely a little bit of a lull, and and uh, you know, but we're getting a lot of guys some time, and, and they, they got they got to step up and, and take advantage of those minutes, and uh, especially the defensive end. You know, we know we're, we're going to be, be able to score in, in, in the long run, but we got to be, be, be better in, uh, in the short term defensively. Yeah, Coach, um, I imagine there was some frustration there as you went into halftime in such a close game. Um, I know you always very politely remind your players that they're not playing Thunderbird mm -hmm. basketball. Can you talk about maybe how you reminded them on this occasion? Yeah, there's no question. No, we, were, we, were, we weren't. We were, we, were, uh, we were just sloppy. It was it, we were sloppy. We were missing shots. We we were getting kind of one of those deals where we were attempting to live and die by the three, and when when we weren't really attacking the rim at, at even very well, we weren't taking care of the ball, travels, stepping up. I mean, just unforced stuff, which we can't do. We've got to be better than that. And uh, and we cleaned it up the second half. That was much better representation of who we were. And uh, I think I think guys will. Take good lessons from that, that we have to keep it on all the time. Coach, I, I noticed a couple of times when uh, players would miss maybe defensive assignments or not box it out, get a rebound they're supposed to have, it was an immediate pull, they immediately yep. got pulled. Is that, is that an ideal teaching moment for you, or, or what's the reason yeah, for that? Yeah, no, no question. We just kind of set it behind the stone and said, this is what it's going to be. You know? and, uh, um, so we, we were, there were certain non negotiables that we were going to have, and you know, whenever they weren't met, we just didn't feel like it was. It was something that was unforced or, or, or a focus type of error. We're, we're going to let the next guy get a chance at it, and uh, which doesn't make for overly appealing uh, and in a lot of different lineups. But it, uh, I think, it was served the purpose for what we were trying to get across. Yeah, Coach uh, D. Barnes cleared to play and made his debut today. Can you talk about his performance and uh, maybe what he brings to the team? Yeah, he, I mean, he's another one of those guys that just shoot the lights out. Uh, just wakes up scoring the basketball, and he's that super athletic as you saw in that last play. He's, he's going to have to be a highlight real guy. Um, very good player. He's really developed, uh, and, and we're excited that uh, he's cleared because you know there's going to be games. You know he's he's he's, he's put up numbers before in the past, and, and I think he will again in the future as well. Coach, uh, 18 for 29 from the free throw line. I believe it's what 62 uh, percent. Are free throws starting to become concern at all for you? Um, we're going to probably spend an hour, we'll, we'll, we'll probably collectively, 16 guys, we'll probably get somewhere in the vicinity of 10,000 free throws up tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll, we'll get, we're, we're, we're not concerned about it, but we just know we've got to put extra time and work on it. So, that'll be part of our Saturday activity. <laughs> yeah, Coach, how do you, um, with only one day between playing the same opponent twice, I know this is a big thing, in conference play as well. Um, how do you try and prep for this second uh, leg, I guess, of, of these two matchups? Yeah, you get to watch the film. I mean, it, there's there's a lot of pros to it in that 
it simulates a little bit of what our league play is. You play and then you take a breather and then you play again and you make your adjustments. So it uh, there are some certainly appeal to being able to uh, you know dial in and, and, and make some adjustments for for us a game two, which simulates our season. So it will be good for us. Awesome. Thank you, Coach.